Hey guys, today I'm going to show you my amazing pop bottle garden. I did this, as you can see, with soda bottles. And before I show you how to make them, I want to show you how they work. These are self-watering. So as long as you have water right here, the water will go up. And you don't really need to water. Uh, I usually just change the water once a week so the water doesn't go bad. But that's usually it and I really like this because I don't have time to water every single day and this system allows me to just plant and forget about my garden and when I come here I come here because I want to I come here to relax I don't come here because I have to water the garden so that makes it a lot more relaxing to garden and just play with my plants and on this one we got some tomato plants growing this one is a mango it's doing really nice right here we have some hot peppers this were giving given to me by a friend I don't remember what kind they were but they're really good and they're really hot so there you go here we have strawberry these are blueberries and we got some squash I think this one was tomato more peppers and these two are really nice these are asparagus it grew into a fern it had some flowers now they're falling off look at this one there's two of them they're very nice look at this this one has beautiful flower right here. You can see it. Very nice plant. Got more over here. And they're really nice because I don't really need to water. So now I'm going to show you how to make one of these. We're going to begin by getting a soda bottle. Of course, you have to drink all of it. And I'm enjoying myself with a glass of soda but do not waste any time I already have this one ready all empty and as you can see get the soda bottles with, that have this design with the short neck don't get the long ones and can you hear that bird singing this is why I like to be in the garden it's very relaxing and I don't come here because I have to water or stress out about the plants. I just like to be here, relax, and if I want to water the garden, I can water it if I want to, which is real nice. So to make one of these, you first have to measure the distance between right here where it goes straight and the bottom which is approximately like this so you go like this so it's approximately right here and since I already have this one made as we can see right here is where I cut and it works perfectly so I'll be cutting right here in the bottom of this letter which is approximately the same length as right here so I'll cut right there with a knife and I have the perfect knife, my spiracle resilience. So let's get to it. Right here, straight cut all around. There you go. As so we can see, this is the bottom side. And what we're going to do is make this loose. So we're going to take it off, put it back on a little bit. There you go. So it won't fall off, but it is loose. So water will get in there. Now we put the top. And as you can see, when it pushes down, just like that it will make an airtight seal around here 
so when the water that's down here will heat up it will actually move upwards so it will be hot and humid and the soil, soil will stay wet now the next step is to actually fill it up with your favorite soil or potting soil so let's do that Now that it's filled up, I like to water first before planting anything so the soil will be all wet. And you get the soil wet before you plant anything, that way you can prevent transplant shock. And as you can see, we're in the shade, so when I transplant something in here, uh, the roots won't get dry because we're not in the sun. And as we wait for the water to get absorbed, we can enjoy our soda. And I don't hear that bird singing anymore. Too bad. Because sometimes when it sings, it's a nice relaxing sound but as we wait I'm going to show you how I start up my seeds this one I put in some apple seeds in store when my hands are all dirty but this is how I like to get them started with a wet pepper towel put them here in here and they will usually get started here we have another one got a couple of packages with uh, different types of seeds in there and I have some tomato seeds these are tomato and I want to show you something let's see if we can see it in that one right there there's a tiny white root coming out out of the seed that means it's growing we can see that one right there has roots growing so let's open it up check it out so right here we have a wet paper towel take it out try to be gentle so as to not hurt the seats see let's see where the you can see one right here. So you can see how they're growing. The paper towel is so wet it comes out apart. You can see now this one is ready to plant. As we can see it's the root, so we're gonna plant it as fast as possible. There you go, you got one planted in there. And if I wanted to plant just one, I would just leave it there. But I want to plant a little bit more just to get them started. Let's see. I gotta find the other ones. The other ones are over here. See, we got this one. Now we gotta transplant this one as fast as possible. There you go, we got two. And so we can get one more. Got this one right here, tiny one growing. So, let me just 
And then at this point you can water one more time and After we water, we're going to make sure that the water goes downward and comes out off the bottom. And after a while, you're going to have something like this with water. And about once a week or two weeks, I like to remove this just like this. And it's airtight, so just spin it around. There you go. And now we get to see the water. If the water is bad, throw it out. If not, we can just pour it out the top. And that way all the nutrients will get back into the soil. And they just put it back to, back to how it was. But there you go, guys. That's the sort of pop self-watering uh, plants garden and look at this one it's beautiful there's a little bit of water left it's time to water it one, one more time that's it. Alright guys, thanks for watching and until next time.